a motherfucker. It's not the people in the bay. It could be niggas that was telling up there. Facts. It could be, but it, or a nigga could have called in like, "Hey, this inmate got a phone." Yeah, yeah. Because but, he this story. Either they got some of that pure yara mean, you know what I'm saying? And Sharp just now hitting his zone. Or Sharp just numb to the bullshit. Finally, you know what I'm saying? He ain't trying to hear it no more. He like, nigga, I'm a pimp. That ain't even my game. That ain't even my lane. You niggas looking hella lame on my mama though. Uh, I've seen it multiple times, and they didn't get Southsiders no telling South Southside telling the black. Ain't no real Southsider gonna condone that. You crazy, my boy. Ain't, ain't no, no Mexican that, gonna but, condone. But that's that's what I'm saying. That's something that we we perceive as blacks we think that that's true so is, is it true or not do y'all get any type of disciplinary action if, if y'all tell i want the comment section specifically to let me know their thoughts on that one right there if you walk the yard if you know something about it if you heard something from your ogs if you heard stories you got personal experience go ahead and share down below what you think about that any black comes to my homies from my hood or any any mexican i'm speaking for any mexican any south sider any black come with some black and white yeah to that person's hood that person will die i promise you that bro there's no such thing. Bro. Uh, what is things that should never be said on the motherfucking internet for 5,000? Uh, Y'all heard it, bro. I'm not Mexican. Look, I got a little sister who's Mexican. I got a half sister who's Mexican. I got a Theo Edwin. That's about it, bro. I'm not Mexican. You know what I'm saying? I'm black. But this nigga went ahead and let us know on the internet today. G-Face is the spokesperson for all Mexicans and Southsiders. That's what he went ahead and told us. My little, or any, any Mexican. I'm speaking for any Mexican, any Southsider. Yeah, different. You ever yeah. ran in the zoo? You ever seen I ain't zoo? never seen zoo in person, bro. Do your homework on the people who FYBJ main seen in person. <laughs> it different. So you feel like, you know, we was talking about computer ops. Like, <laughs> so he's somebody you ain't never really just met in person, but he, cause you know, zoo, he one, of the, he one of the ones everybody talk about. You ain't got no stories of him or like not even you seeing him, but like your homies know him type right? Who the f Man, just cue the music. And we're back with another episode of Who the Fuck Is This Nigga? Stress. And on this installment of Who the Fuck Is This Nigga? We got this nigga named Remo. Now, uh, he a hip-hop news blogger. Um, I don't know where he's from. He make the most awkward, weirdest faces in his picture. This nigga always look like he got to take a shit. That's about as much as I know. Other than that, he seemed like a pretty cool uh, average nigga. You know what I'm saying? Just a regular guy. We ain't gonna crucify him yet because we don't know what he about, but... Fight! Gotcha, bitch! Boy, if you don't get your Martin Luther King the fifth looking ass on, you supposed to be fighting against black oppression, not fighting for it. The fuck you doing? Bushy eyebrow having motherfucker, this nigga gonna hurt something. And I ain't talking about in a gangster way. Swole nigga had him calling for the guard. So you feel like, you know, we was talking about computer ops. Like, <laughs> so he's somebody you ain't never really just met in person, but he... Cause you know, Zoo, he one of the, he one of the ones everybody talk about. You ain't got no stories of him or like not even you seeing him, but like your homies know him type right? This is a prime example of it's not what I ask, it's how you ask it. I could ask you, oh, do you know Susan? Or I could say, oh, do you know that Thuder Bop Susan? You know what I'm saying? Totally different connotation and context of how you presenting a person. And so he says that Bezu finna come up here. He know that Bezu and uh, FYB Chamey may be on opposing sides. And he asked this question in that certain light to go ahead and create tension, to go ahead and create a juicier interview down the line. And I think that's important to notate is a lot of times these bloggers will throw you in that trip bag ahead of time. Cause he goes ahead and asks FYBJ man, do you know Zoo? Do you know Bay Zoo? FYBJ man lets him know off rip. I ain't never seen that man in person. But that wasn't good enough for Remo. Your boy Remo had to press harder and he lets him know, well, I know you ain't seen him in person, but could you give us some secondhand stories or maybe your partner seen him? Maybe you heard some stories. So you basically just want this grown man to come over here and speculate about real niggas in his own section, in his own city, his own jurisdiction, knowing that create um, problems down the line. Now we all grown, FYBJ Maine, he should know this by now, but uh, I think FYBJ Maine is infatuated with the whoops right now. I think I think he he eating too much of the whoops. He eating his own whoops. I'm pausing. I don't even know what the fuck. What is the whoops? Can somebody explain this shit to me? I stand on what I stand on. What, what happened, J Man? What you see with your own eyes? Fifty first of college. Picture THF, bro. Pull up. I'm at the Walgreens across the street from the park. I'm in the car. What you see, J Man? <coughs> THF. Two cars. Trailing back to back. Why they driving like that? Fuck, 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 fuck. Them niggas. Them the killers, bro. The THF member, 
that be with Lil Durk, bro. That Lil Durk gave an OTF chain to, bro. What I see him do. Why they driving like that? How about that bitch 230s, Remo? Fuck, 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 Shooting at the young money is bro. Sound crazy. I know I do. J Man got on because of the whoops, of course, with the old OTF shit and trolling Lil Dirk and trying to bring people together for the peace. That's how he got on. But how he kind of solidified himself was the whole Tay Savage situation. Talk about some shit, yo. The musical, bro. These whoops, they going. J Man, them two loops in the whoop box. Nah, bro, you whooping. Telling a story about Tay Savage getting into a shootout with him and some other friends leaving a um leaving a club one night is how essentially J-Man got on. Tay Savage could have responded to the story negatively, but he chose not to. He chose to whoop with J-Man and they ended up making some money together and putting together a positive image for the kids. You know what I'm saying? I think that's what he was trying to do with Ruga. I already showed y'all how that backfired on him. I warned him of it. And now he goes ahead and double downs on the whoops and he tries to throw THF Bezu in the whoops. No, he doesn't say Bezu name, and like I told y'all, he said that he's never seen Bezu in person, but he then double backs and says the OTF artist that Lil Durk be having with him that gave him a chain. Okay, who else could that be? All right, now. So he go ahead and throw Bezu in that trick bag and lets him know that he's seen something happen with him before. Bezu has two options here. He can now whoop with J-Main and make some money, put a good image out for the kids, like Tay Savage. Or he can go ahead and reject that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like your boy, um, what's his name? Ruga. This nigga just got on a whole platform, gang, and lied on a motherfucker just like that, gang. You ain't never seen me a day of your life before. Ever. Add a baby to this hill like this, like this, a motherfucking comeback movie or something. Talk about you seeing me hop out with 230s blowing, gang. Who the fuck you think I am, Rambo? <laughs> Now I'm jumping off buildings, doing car wheels, shooting at motherfuckers and shit, you hear me? Backflip, flip flop, flip flop, no karate chopping motherfuckers, you hear me? I wouldn't be surprised if they get on the internet and say they see me hop out with some lawn chucks, gang. Y'all too animated for me, you hear me? Too animated. Yeah, they ain't be funny to a motherfucker catch you in traffic and, and, and beat the draws off your world. Oh, like no. All right, so I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I fuck with J-Man. I fuck with the whoops. I fuck with all of that. I think it's very entertaining. The thing about it is here with this particular situation is Bezu just got out of jail. All right, Bezu is fighting hella shooting cases. He was even involved, I think, with that um that little Dirk in that um King Von situation in Atlanta too. So Bezu, Bezu's name be hot, you know. I think THF is going through a little FBI investigation right now, currently. And so when you just get on Adam Twenty Two platform and say something like that, and then allude to the fact that it may or may not be me. Listen, I don't know why we do this thing in um hip hop culture where we like to, oh y'all boys know who did that. Like nigga, why would you say that? Like yeah, of course everybody knows who did it, but we basically allude to who have done something. And just act like because we haven't physically or specifically said the name that it can't be used in court or the police won't use this to point them in the right direction. They not fucking dumb, my nigga. They know what these emojis mean. They know what these words mean. They know what these, these gang terms mean. They know all that shit. And they, they get people straight out of the university to go ahead and study these uh, terms and break them down. So that's why you just got to be careful what you say on the internet and who you choose to whoop with i just feel like thf bezu is taking it so serious because he dealing with things that's going on with the law and he feel like they shouldn't be playing with his name that's all i fuck with jay man i fuck with what he's doing i think he should keep it up i just think he just need to be more careful with who he choose to uh whoop with ruga not going bezu not going if enough people come out and say that your whoops is fake, if enough people come out and say they don't want a fake beef with you to promote peace, and enough people come out and say that you fake whooping just trying to get money and you acting like you're doing it for peace, then nobody's going to want to partake in that. Tay Savage did it. Uh, Yella did it, so it make it look cool. But when Ruga don't do it, when, FB, um, when THF Bezu doesn't do it, and then you have another artist. Let's see if the next artist team to do it with you or, or don't want to do it with you. You know what I'm saying? That could fuck up your whole whoop, my nigga. I'm just being honest. It's, it's all about the way shit tend to go. You know what I'm saying? So, 
Y'all go ahead and like and comment, subscribe. I got the motherfucking homies of the week coming, dog. Y'all got to understand that, bro. We got to do the homies of the week, but it's one time every week. So I've been writing down y'all names. I ain't been keeping track. Like, just in my head. I I've been writing it down. I'm going to keep track of it. I keep down uh, track of the amounts and everything. So if you send in a cash app donation to Ninoverse, don't worry. I got you. Your shout out is coming. We going to shout out everybody. I just got to make sure a couple people, I get y'all Instagrams and everything. I know I fucked up, homie, Instagram last time. I ain't going to fuck it up this time. But y'all fuck with me. Y'all holla at me. Nino Verse. We back in this motherfucker. We hit 5K. Let's go ahead and hit that 10K, baby. Yarra me.